All right, hi. Who knows Janet Jackson from the 80s here? <laughs> oh my goodness. I used to love that song. I was thinking about your spines today and I was um, thinking about how we need to give our spines love every day, pretty much. But then that song popped in my head and I was like, I have to find that song and play it for you. And then you're gonna have it stuck in your head all day long, hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to talk about spinal movement. We've got four, and when you combine them all together, it gets very dynamic. But the reason why it's important to move our spine is because it keeps those discs that sit between the vertebrae healthy, right? We want those discs to have flexibility, moisture, nourishment. Um, if we don't get that nourishment between the discs or between the vertebrae, um, they get cracked, herniation, degeneration, disc bulging, you name it. You've probably heard of these um, before, or you know someone, or maybe you've experienced this before in your spine. So let's do some safe movement. Um, I do want you to recognize if your back doesn't feel good enough to do this and just make this, the movement smaller. Um, otherwise, just come join me sitting forward on your seat. We're gonna put your hands behind your head, okay? You're gonna press your head into your hands a little bit and bring the elbows slightly forward. Now I want you to lift up through your crown so your chin is to your throat and find a nice neutralized spine, so just natural spine. You're gonna spin those elbows forward and start to round forward. This is called spinal flexion. And then you're gonna lift up tall, open the elbows, reach back through the head this is called spinal extension, okay? So let's continue to flex and extend. So rounding forward and then open the elbows to extend. Okay, so this is really healthy, especially this extension, which might not feel awesome on your back. Just go small if it doesn't. This is really good because we do a lot of forward bending in our lives, right? So we gotta get some of that backward movement in our spine and just watch that the head stays up into the hands and visualize you're reaching out through your crown. So the spine doesn't end here, it ends at the top um, in your visual and open, good. And then we're gonna come up right at the top there and I want you to lift a little taller on your chair. See if you can give me about one more inch in your spine, you're gonna lift your elbow up up, up, and drop the other elbow and really get this nice reach up through the ribs, but a side bend through the spine. And that's your third range of motion, right? So we did forward flexion, we did extension, and now we're doing lateral flexion, which is side bending. Good, and just watch with your head that it doesn't fall off the side of your spine. That's something I always say, or fall off your shoulders, right? So you wanna make sure that it is an extension of your spine, okay? Does that make sense? So you're making a uniform curve here. This next one, we're gonna hold lateral flexion here. Can you drive down through the opposite cheek and then lift up a little bit more from the elbow so you get a nice stretch in between those ribs. Give me a breath. And then lift up tall, 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 lift those ribs up off the pelvis and then other side. Good, reach the elbow up, drop the other elbow down, drive down through the opposite cheek and then give me a big long inhale here, inhale. And exhale, lift up through your spine. Good, release, reach the arms forward. Soften the uh, shoulders down your back. And we're gonna pull your elbow back and look behind your shoulder and then forward and center and then other side. So pull back, you're gonna look behind, back to center, good, and keep going. So another thing to really work on here is a little opposition. So as you're rotating your gaze, drive down through the opposite sits point. This is called 
um, rotation, right? Rotation of the spine. So that's our fourth range of uh, movement that we're working for. And again, like I said, when you combine it all together in a three-dimensional quality, you will have a lot of dynamic movement in the spine. Okay, we want that. The spine wants that. The spine needs that. You need it. Okay, let's go ahead and hold this next one. So pull back, shoulder blade, elbow, look back and drive back through the hip. So if the hip is coming forward, can you pull it back a little bit? Good, get this nice oppositional reach, cross body, center, and then pull back, pull back, pull back, drive down through the hip. Good, pull back, inhale, and exhale, center. Good, release the arms. Let's end with a big arm reach, inhale. Good, and then exhale, press your arms down. Very good. Now, if you can come back to this video again sometime this week, your spine is going to be so happy with you. All right, good work. Happy Wednesday, and we'll see you next week. And I'm going to end with a little bit of Janet Jackson <laughs> because we love her. So I catch you, and I can't wait to get you.